can't complain about that at all. That car just beep at me. It's probably one of my neighbors from down there. Why is he in the car by himself looking at toys? Immature man, baby. going on everybody welcome back to another episode of what's on the toy shelves our random little video series where we pop into a target or a walmart whatever store we might want to go to and we just essentially see what's on the shelves could be figures on the shelves it could be nothing at all uh although i don't know if this one is really gonna be so random uh this morning when i got home from work i had a comment on my last what's on the toy shelves video if you haven't checked that out go ahead and do that um and they were telling me that the Walmart over in Somerdale, which is one I was planning on hitting up probably this upcoming week, uh, they had the entire superpower shipper with the figures, every figure, it was full. Um, so I figured, you know what? We'll just do it now, screw it. We'll just go out, see if we can find the rest of the figures, get them off the list. I'm outside of my buddy Tommy's house right now, because I figured if I'm gonna go, I might as well see if he wants to go. Somerdale Walmart's less than 15 minutes from me so it's, it's not gonna take us very long to get there at all the next time i see you guys it'll be at walmart let's go see what they have on the shelves and we found it here it is yes loaded all right look at that all right so give me a green lantern wow one of those superman Next side the dark side is really nice looking. Look at that. It's a really nice looking figure. Make sure you get your minty one. Yeah, you see how the back is? He's just to add on. Yeah. The next wave should be out as well. This whole shipper is really nice. Oh, hey, man. Hey, it's flash shipper. Haven't even seen these yet. Oh, like Dr. That. Fate. Did you see Dr. Fate? Oh, that's all. It is the first time I've seen what it looks like for the movie. There's the Rock Black Adam figure. Also, you want to check that out? Mm. Adam Smasher. It's not a bad looking sculpt though. And then we got the Adam Smasher. This looks pretty good. What's down there? Up? What's that? Comic book Black Adam. This one is a little more tension getting for Wasn't me. Wasn't this, this was out, the Frost King. Wasn't that out already? Not that I know of. I remember seeing that, I don't remember seeing that figure, but I remember seeing the Frost. There's the uh, John Stewart green mm -hmm. lantern. Love this entire display. Tommy wants us in his room. Oh, definitely. If you're in the cell. We should talk to them, see if we can get it. Stick it home today. When they're ready to put it up on <laughs> today would be nice. Yeah. They'll want to do it when they put it on the pegs when it's empty. This is really, really nice. This whole thing just pops. It's oh, so sure freaking colorful, man. You walk into somebody's house and you see that, even with the figures on it, mm -hmm. you're instantly drawn to it. It's a conversation piece. So back to the 80s. Yep. There's There's all the check our on check our guys. Make sure we're getting a good one. <clears throat> uh, that John Stewart looks Ten good. Dollars. I can afford to be picky. <laughs> uh, I think the Superman I got was okay. A little mark on his fist, but I'm not too too worried about that all right, all right. and i think that's that's everything right we just need to wait for the next series to get the flash wonder woman reverse flash yep mm -hmm. so yeah we officially have all the figures now so that, was, that wasn't as hard as uh, we thought it would be no all it took is one shipper yeah how's it making you feel right now this is you, this is childhood. This, yeah. This is childhood. Tell me about it. I was a teenager in 1980s. Toys R Us. Remember that? There was a store called Toys R Us. I don't know what talking about, Toys R Us. Yeah, <laughs> many moons ago. Except these were made by a little company called Kenner. And you had a bigger selection because you also had the Hulkman, you had the Joker, you had Green Lantern, Flash, Aquaman, Wonder Woman. But I'll settle for the main three for today. And it's almost 1985 prices, too. In those days, it was $5.99. Really? Yeah. You got dark side. I dark side I got had a cape back in those days because it's the Kirby one. Between this and, and Migo coming back with the 50th anniversary of the world's greatest superheroes, it's like man, this is Tommy's childhood. Oh, yes, it is. This, this year is gonna be good for you. Get one more shot of this. Look at this. Oh man. <clears throat> Let's 
So let's check the regular toys and see what they have over there. All right, so checking out the regular main toy aisle. We have some, some Motu figures for you guys. Buzz off, Sorceress. It looks like all the same figures that are always always out. Look, now we're finding the flopped Panther. Remember how hard this thing was to find like a year ago? It's cool to have a, enough of them. Uh, Tommy, did you see they did the Rotan? Yeah. That's really nice. First time seeing that. Some AW and a J. Nyla. 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 Three Nylas. Superstars. Bray Wyatt. Three Bray Wyatts. One Ric Flair. Uh, four Bray Wyatts. Two pack. China and Trish Stratus. Tommy, do you need a Cobra officer? Did you get this? I need this. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Some basics. Nothing that we need. Come on down, usual stuff. So we're over here checking the regular toys, and uh, I messed up. Tommy thought he was back in 1985. I said it's Toys R Us Hall. <laughs> we're walking down the aisle. He goes, "This is the biggest Toys R Us Hall." I'm like, "Did you just say Toys R Us?" <laughs> this is a far cry from Toys R Us, but it feels like it. Yeah. <laughs> Oh man! This is what I used to do. I'd walk out to checkout, boom, on the just, register. Just drop a whole stack yeah. of toys. Little Mart's usually one or two things hit or miss. Yeah, Tommy's stacking it today. Oh, Normally yeah. I stack, but no, yeah, I, I got G. beat. Joe from the eighties. Yeah, superpowers from the eighties. There you go. There we go. I don't know how to act. No. <laughs> time warp. I don't know how to make you act. <laughs> I have no control over you. I'm a lunatic. <laughs> He's crazy. Oh, he's crazy. The toys. crazy for the toys. <laughs> uh, got more Cheetah terrorists. In, oh, he still has a window, though. Yeah. But here, look, no window. Now they look at what their book is on it. <laughs> they're worried about this hurting the environment. Yeah. That's, that's and so it's petty. very minimal, the plastic that they're using. Yeah. And speaking of that, we have, like you said, there's boxed Transformers yeah. now. New Black Panther stuff down here. Luckily, the retro stuff is staying with the window. Yeah. And McFarlane, because he's uh, independent, he's staying with the window. Thank God. I just noticed the Spider-Mobile, he's windowless. You just noticed that? Yeah, you can actually put your fist in it and uh, yank it out. Spider-Rex. And I just realized they're going to use that as a re-sculpt for Devil Dinosaur. A Marvel Legend Devil Dinosaur. They Watch. I want a devil dinosaur. That's one that they just need to make. Black. That's how. That's like a Jack Kirby thing. Yeah. All his demon characters have black on the eye. Yeah, they need to do a devil dinosaur. I'm not gonna front. I kind of like this too. <laughs> not the figure. The just the car. You know why? This Batman will fit in there. Oh. Yeah. Can I have your superpowers driving the, the newer Batman. People. Yeah. Lando. It'd be nice if they made a blue variant. It's the Imperial. It kind of looks like the old Batman. Troop transport. Did you see? You didn't see this, right? Yeah, I kind of like it. It's different because it looks like it's one short. Yeah. Actually, this is cool as fuck, man. The more I'm looking at it, the more I'm looking at it. <laughs> yeah. Stop it. Stop it. I'm going to leave them there for now, Tommy. Somebody take some. Somebody take some. Smack their hands. Drop kick them, man. Yeah, beat them. Drop oh, kick them want from across the. You want the whole Serious, shipper? Um, it figures and all. I want all of it. <laughs> if I can order it directly from McFarlane, it's five hundred dollars. Done. <laughs> Done. Just display it full. Over here in the collectibles, we have an end cap of figures. Tommy, I think I found your color Wolfman. You need? <gasps> that's that's day. Uh, I gotta get it. Yep. And and some Thylog. The snap is ripped in this one. There we go. We'll turn around this way. It's just a complete day. Hey, it's a legal more people just sitting here. You have, you have this, right? I certainly do. Okay. Now the Superman one came out at the other one. Now. Did Action it? Action Comics number one. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I'll get it for that. Oh, this is pretty cool. Yeah, it is. There's something new I haven't seen yet. This is the, it, yeah, they have it. The yeah. Best Action Foot Clan four pack. Mm hmm. That's pretty good. I don't collect the best action, but hey, if you guys need it, still cool to have. I don't really say anything. 
I do like the best action like music figures. We got the Ozzy a few weeks ago. This Angus Young face is a little weird. That's still a pretty cool idea. Do they have the Gene Simmons? No, just three Angus Young. Oh, here's the super weird. Oh, there you go. That's new. Yeah, I feel like this one always has like a weak NECA selection. Or like this section is always weak in general. I don't know, maybe it's just me. I don't think we've ever really found anything crazy here. Target's better at NECA than Walmart. Yeah. If you need to open a Frankenstein. Yeah, and at 1588, even with the price increase, mm -hmm. that's still not a bad price. We got Frankenstein, two of the black and white ones. And before we leave, why not check the clearance racks? Because you never know what you might find. Is there anything at all? I know you were saying that you found the Scorponok at the yeah, other one. Yeah, the other one. Yeah, yeah. Seven bucks. That's not much of a clearance, though. Nah, not really. Yeah. Scorponok from 30 to 15. I'll that pay 15 good. for Scorponok. I always like Scorponok. Yeah, yeah too. Which one is that? The one in Woodbury? Yeah. Now that was a successful toy trip that's what i like to see i like to just go to a store and everything you need is right there you don't have to worry about fighting in scalpers ordering online waiting for things to be shipped to you i like the convenience of just going right into a store boom it's right there so let's check out everything we got i'm sure you guys have seen them already but we found found dark side dark seed however you want to say his name so there's that I'm actually surprised that this one is actually 10 bucks. I assumed, I mean, Dark Side's a bigger figure and he's chunkier. I thought he'd be like 11 or 12 bucks. But no, he was he was 10 just like the rest of the boys. We got Superman. And you know what? The cool thing about these figures, you can either take them off the card or you can just leave them on the card. The card art is beautiful. It pops, man. Look at that. Really, really nice artwork really nice so as you can see right here on the back we have everything now just waiting for the next wave uh, i think that one has the flash batman that laughs right and then last but not least the john stewart which also looks really good yeah i picked a real good real good john stewart right there and then well i'll show you guys this it's, it's not toy related it's actually for the wife so for all you disney fans Haunted Mansion fans in particular. At Walmart, they have, you know, the little golden books? They have big golden books. And for $4.98, they have the Haunted Mansion one. So I flipped through it, thought it was pretty cool. My wife's a huge Haunted Mansion fan and collector. Maybe one of these days when she has everything that she needs as all set up and ready to go, uh, I'll try to talk her into giving you guys a tour of her Haunted Mansion collection. She's got a lot of stuff. And we're actually, we're going to Disney <clears throat> at the end of uh, October. So as soon as she gets into Memento Mori, she's done. I just, I let her go. I don't even try and stop her. I just let her do her thing. But for five bucks, not a bad book. If you guys are fans of Haunted Mansion, check your Walmarts. Um, they might have some. Um, and then other than that, that's everything we picked up. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave some likes and comments down below. Consider subscribing if you like toy hunt videos or other toy related content. And if you subscribe, don't forget to turn on notifications so you guys never miss an upload. And like always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.